Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Cynthia Smith, and this is the Intuitive Hypnotherapy Podcast. I'm an intuitive, I'm a hypnotherapist, I'm a chiropractor, acupuncturist, overall do gooder, and most importantly, the mom to the talented and awesome Shanti. Today's episode, we're going to manifest, we're going to stand up to bullies. And we're going to heal with kindness, all wrapped into one little do-gooder healing meditation hypnosis session. Um, And if you, if any part of this is a little triggering, just stay with me. Everybody gets a healing for this. Um, I'm just sharing with you some of my experiences over the past few weeks and um, my viewpoint on them as a middle-aged woman in a female body. Um, I have been hurt quite badly by individuals who happen to have male bodies and who have expressed quite clearly that they believe their male body has dominion over my female body um, and they can treat me however they choose. They can steal from me. They can lie to me. They can um, damage my things without repercussion. And dare I stand up for myself that they will get aggressive, argumentative, and threatening. Yeah, yeah, it's been fun in my bubble this past few weeks. So um, I, for those of you who run more female energy, um, I would love it to have more female mechanics out there. If that's your Zen, please. <laughs> I finally found a female bicycle mechanic. Um, uh, My scooter mechanic is quite genuine and quite fabulous. Um, The people to whom worked on my scooter, and I have this old scooter. It's 2007 Aprilia Mojito. Google it. It's very rare. So parts are very rare. So when the tow driver broke my handlebars, I can't replace that part. That part doesn't exist anymore. And he decided that instead of taking responsibility for breaking my scooter, which he was hired to just move, um, he confronted me aggressively, like, show me where I broke it. And he would not agree that he broke it until the male mechanic at my scooter shop told him, yeah, dude, you broke her scooter. And even then, when he offered to pay for the damages, he insisted on negotiating with the male owner of the the scooter repair place, the the motorcycle repair place, instead of me, the owner of the scooter that he broke. That was only one of them. There are more. Um, They say things come in threes. Well, did they? That was just one... um, and um, and the scooter still isn't fixed. Literally had to order parts from Italy for some of the things that um, he could repair um, and that are still available. So um, supply chain, don't fail me now. Um, so, and why do we want to heal it? Why am I, because that's my zen, you know, I might have some hiccups, might have some run-ins um and I took it on the chin I mean that was hard I had a couple of it was a rough week um not only the damage but I mean I like I was hurt I was like I was too stupid to speak up for myself and how dare I speak up for myself and I just got the term I use is whacked I just got the shit whacked out of me um by this guy 
by another fella I enlisted to help fix my scooter. Um, and, um, and then some other things that popped up and, um, which is why I wasn't recording, um, meditations. I was in recovery. Um, and so this is part of what I did in recovery. Um, I meditated, I sat with myself, what, you know, I healed the wax and, um, you know, we're seeing this in this country a lot. Um, um, it's written into our laws. Um, there genuinely isn't equality between male and female bodies in this country. Um, and um, so here's what I want to say. If you happen to inhabit a, a male body and you feel threatened by women, or those in female bodies, it's okay. Like you're gonna be fine. You're precious too. Your value isn't established by diminishing somebody else who doesn't look like you or doesn't have the same um, outward appearance as you. You're still deserving of all good things. You can rest assured that the universe wants for you the same, right? And so with that being said, I implore you to look at your own divinity and heal that divinity within yourself so that you don't feel threatened by somebody who's got baby making equipment. You know, it, and when you do feel threatened to take that additional step of harming that person, because any way you slice it, you're just generating a boatload of negative karma for yourself. And if it makes you feel better, I doubt if it makes you feel better in the long run. So um, I tend to try to be just more fluffy and light in my podcast, but, um, you know, sometimes things pop up and, um, the inequality and some of the things that I've experienced recently, um, being a woman, middle-aged woman, who's not a size six, um, oftentimes I am absolutely invisible, absolutely invisible. Like I don't exist. Like you can pull in front of me in your car, or you can walk ahead of me, or you can push me aside. You can stand in front of my mirror in, in yoga class. Um, I cannot be counted on. And like, dude, I'm literally sitting right there and my bubble is bright. Um, and that's hard enough. You know, that grind is hard enough day in, day out. Um, but it's when it's added with an additional level of aggression and invalidation and um how dare i speak up for myself um that that casual dismissiveness you know i've heard the term death by a thousand cuts um it it really does get wearing it really does um and i'm the goofball that i will freaking smile at anybody you know, I will let, I have an adorable chihuahua if you haven't seen it in some of my posts and she will go up to anybody um, and say, hello, and I'm adorable. And I think you ought to pet me. And, um, you know, so she'll go up to a homeless person. She'll go up to a homeless guy that's got an ankle monitor at the uh, farmer's market on the on the Newport Pier. And it's just the sweetest thing because that person's like, oh my God, you just made my whole week. You know, just having this little chihuahua, you know, nuzzle up and, and want to hug. So that's who I am. That's what we do all the time. I'm here to spread love and light and sunshine. And um, it not often or not always is it um, returned in kind. So, but we can't change that by amplifying the darkness 
the only way we can change that is to bring more light. So that's what we're going to do. And the manifesting part is whatever you want. I genuinely believe wants you back. You can ask the universe for anything, including feeling good in your skin, feeling so good in your skin that you see the goodness in everyone around you and do not feel any compulsion or compunction to diminish anyone else, any body, any color. You know, everybody is worthy of good. Everybody is worthy of kindness. Everybody. And it starts here, right here. I'm pointing to my heart space. Um, so when you feel good about yourself, you are the light to which other lights are drawn. You are the vibration that other vibrations want to match. So if you're looking to manifest financially, be the change you want to see in the world. Be the abundance you want to see in the world. Be the prosperity you want to see in the world. Be the healing you want to see in the world. So everybody join in now. Okay. I shared my experience. Um, and if you were that or have been, we've all been the ding dong before, you know, just intend that you're going to do better, that you're willing to grow, heal, or evolve and thrive. Let's see anything else. No, I think we can, um, I think we can jump into the meditation now. Yeah. So if you're ready to meditate, if you're ready to blow some roses, um, people that were ding-dongs in your space or to you, um, if you're ready to remember your vibration, not just raise your vibration, you're always good. Sometimes we forget. Um, then get into a comfy chair. Find a nice place to sit. And um, close your eyes. And when you're ready, take a deep, deep breath. And let it out. Do that again. Take a deep, deep breath. And let it out. And with every natural breath, Allow yourself to get heavier and heavier where you lay, comfortable, safe. Allow your body to get heavy where you lay. Close your eyes, down, 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 close your eyes. Let your eyelids get heavier and heavier and heavier. And allow your closed eyelids to be so comfortable that even if you tried to open them, they just wouldn't work. Go ahead and try. Yeah. <laughs> and close them on down. Quiet, peaceful, safe. And as you take another deep, deep breath in. And let it go. Allow your body to get heavy. Sink where you lay or sit. Allow all the tension to drain out of your muscles. Quiet, peaceful, safe. Releasing that tension as easily as your exhaled breath. And as you release that tension and relax, allow your heart, your crown chakra, to open to the God of your heart and your own divinity. Imagine that whatever you want wants you back, that we are all part of this wonderful tapestry that makes humanity. We are all good, wonderful, generous, perfect, and hopeful. 
in your mind's eye, imagine that there's warm honey that just drips down your body, releasing all of the tension from the top of your head all the way down to the soles of your feet, tips of your fingers, relaxing, releasing, allowing you to get more and more comfortable where you lay. Peaceful, safe, comfortable. And as you nestle in, going deeper and deeper into relaxation, we'll count backwards from five to one as if you're walking down a beautiful staircase. Five, deeper down, quieter still, peaceful, safe. Four, down, 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 deeper down, quiet, drifting, floating, flying. Three, deeper still, quiet, peaceful, safe, tranquil, serene. Two, deeper still, deeper, 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 all the way down and one. Down, 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 deeper down into the depths of your subconscious mind. This treasure trove of your gifts, your tools, that part of you that's always active, is always there to protect you. In your mind's eye, imagine that you're walking into a beautiful room with beautiful double doors. And as you push them open, you step into this glorious room with treasures as far as the eye can see, floor to ceiling, gold, silver, jewels, gems, artwork, clothing, absolutely stuffed with treasures, wonders. And each one of these treasures represents one of your gifts, one of your tools, one of your elements of resourcefulness. We sometimes forget that our being able to create something out of nothing is a gift. Our ability to stay cool under pressure is a gift. Our ability to open email on the first try is a gift. Half in just, half for real. Our ability to rock a baby to sleep is a gift. We so often overlook parts of ourselves that are tools, that are gifts, that are wonderments. As you look around this room full of treasure, take an inventory. This is nothing new. This is who you are. These have always been there. Feel free to touch, rummage through. Oh, yes. That's right. I can ride a bicycle. That's pretty cool. Oh, yes. I can manage my own calendar. Oh, yes. I have the gift of gab. It's a gift. And as you look around and you allow yourself to take the inventory of all the beauty and wonderment that you already have, that's already there for you. Some of these gifts you recognize, oh yeah, of course. Some you dust off because you haven't seen them in years. And as you look around, you might find that you get a little emotional. Oh, yeah. I have all of these gifts, all of these tools. I am absolutely capable. I can manifest, I can grow, I can heal, I can evolve. It's all right here. And as you look around your space, you notice in front of you is this enormous mirror, floor to ceiling, in this beautiful gilded frame. 
And as you catch your reflection in this beautiful mirror, you notice that you are able to see yourself the way God sees you. This is the mirror of validation. You may find that you get a little emotional as you see yourself through God's eyes, the eyes of the Supreme Being, the God of your heart. See yourself through others' eyes. Take a moment as you look in your own reflection in this mirror of validation. And you begin to recognize all the beauty, all the strength, all the resources, some of the scar tissue from battles you've won. But just like a parent who absolutely adores their kid, you're able to see yourself the way the universe sees you. Precious, awesome, worthy, deserving, kind, considerate, and so much more. As you allow yourself to peer into your own gaze, allow that sense of belonging that profound sense of interconnectedness to travel through your body. And as you allow yourself to see yourself the way the universe sees you, the way source sees you, You might notice healings in your physical body. Any injury or ailment or discomfort that is not original equipment, it's not as God designed you, we consider it foreign energy. And you have the divine right to release it. Imagine that you can see a mist of gold energy flow through your physical body, healing whatever you're ready to heal. And as you allow yourself to heal old traumas, old worries, old injuries to the soul, allow that gold fairy dust to fill you up to fill you in, to heal you with the tenderness, the grace, the joy. If you need that wherewithal to stand up to bullies, it's there already. Allow the gold fairy dust to unearth it, to remind you how powerful you are. And as you continue to hold your own gaze in this mirror of validation, you might find that you stand a little taller. Your chin is lifted. Your shoulders are back. You may see yourself as ready, ready to go to that meeting or go into battle or ask that special someone for a date. Whatever you want wants you back. And the God of your heart genuinely wants that for you. And allow yourself to feel the kindness. Kindness that you can share from your heart to others. And you can accept into your heart. As you see yourself as part of the tribe of man, growing, evolving, healing. And as you continue to see your reflection in this mirror, you might start to notice 
a hint of a gold glow around you in all directions, representing the healing you've just given yourself and your own abject divinity. Allowing yourself to continue healing, growing, evolving, thriving from this moment forward. And as you turn away from the mirror and take one more look into this vault of treasures, you look at all of your gifts, all of your tools with fresh eyes. This stuff is amazing. And this is all you. So as you look around your space, take it all in, know that this and so much more is you and what you have to offer the world. So in a moment, count back up, bringing you back into waking awareness, and you will remember all that's meant to be remembered you will continue to grow, heal, and evolve in the kindest way possible. In one, two, three, four, five. Eyes open. Wake up. Back to the room. <laughs> I'm Dr. Cynthia Smith, and that's a technique I made up just recently for healings on the deepest level. And if you'd like a session with me, please reach out. Hello at drcynthiasmith.com or drcynthiasmith.com. You can check my website and you can request an appointment there too. Until we meet again, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>